The surgery to do brachial plexus is not quick. The techniques that we use will stretch over an operative procedure that may be three hours, maybe six hours, maybe 10 hours, maybe 12 hours in length. And that all depends on how many nerves are injured and how many nerves the patient has available to reconstruct. We generally will have more than one surgeon in a room when we do these cases. And that's a lot better for the patient for a number of reasons. One is that we can work simultaneously and so the cases are faster. And so faster surgery is safer for the patient because they're under anesthesia for a shorter time, the wounds are open shorter amounts of time, decrease infection rates. The other thing is that um, it's very good to have another surgeon there to discuss intraoperative decision making because different from other surgeries, when you get into nerve surgery, you will have to make decisions as you're there. You can only know so much beforehand and then during the case, you're still evaluating the nerve. We have different techniques during surgery to evaluate the nerve. We'll have a pathologist standing by who will receive specimens from the operating room, small slices of the nerves that he or she will uh, study under the microscope and tell us how scarred is this nerve, how intact is this nerve. We have to graft from a nearly 100% viable nerve to the recipient nerve. Otherwise, its chances of functioning are compromised on day one. We'll take nerves from the back, we'll take nerves from the chest, we'll take nerves from other working uh, nerves in the arm, and we'll move portions of them to re or reconnect those nerves that are not working. That's the revolution that's occurred in the last 20 years. It's called nerve transfer. And the understanding that we can take a portion of a working nerve without damaging that nerve and move it to repair or reconstruct a nerve that's not working was revolutionary.